I'm trying to decide if it's your stream. This just keeps locking up for me because I have like four streams up. I don't think mine is locked up on my laptop. I have it open on. Okay, yeah, it's just like it's easy to lock up, and I, I think it's because of me uh, having all these streams. Because whenever I reload, it just kicks in. Fine. Yeah, I haven't heard any complaints from people yet. So I'm not really reading Good that that often. We have almost 30 viewers, so it's not bad for a dead game. Dead game is dead. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ares has more than 30 clients running at one time. Made us right now, so... That's about... There you go. That's, that's, that's like the standard, you know. If you can get your stream above the amount of accounts that Aries Murray runs at one point in time, that's when you're doing alright. Kicked off. Oh, that kind of kick off, I get you. Is it Twitch taking over or what? Alright. Okay, so my money is that Krusty's gonna take two to the face within the first ten seconds. And it's gonna be over. And then Carnival is going to void war them both down and end up killing Peter with ticks. And here we go. They're immediately yeah. <laughs> help holding Krusty. That is some and dirty shit like going on right there. Nope. Krusty's, Krusty's on top of the shit. Tigers has that championship belt for a reason, you know? That was a tricky move. You know, we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I know, right? It's a good, you know, it's worth it, you know? It seems like it didn't set them oh, back too much. Oh, interesting. To able to Cause so here's what we got. We got an interesting little uh, trick here health. from Shake and Bacon. Shake and Juice the Spectral Flame. Interesting, it does hit a little weaker, but sometimes it throws them off. 27 yeah, it, for Krusty. it hits way too much. Oh, there goes Krusty's That's Krusty the rip. Time he tanked too. So, it's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this is a little bit weird. Is that, uh, oh, am I seeing streaks? Peter's yeah. streaking. Interesting choice there. Uh, it's it's not necessarily a bad idea. He's not going to put up the damage that the, oh, the tank. He just tanked becomes, two with 293 health he, left. That's insane. Just the way it goes. Like the defense, like I was saying earlier. And Peter just doesn't have a lot of offense power, you know? He's so surging basically like one and a half. With oh, okay. Yeah, that, right now. yeah, that's exactly why right there. <laughs> that protection surge. <laughs> they gotta make sure, you know? Now, so one thing that I'm seeing here, you told me he was Void War. Like, where's the Void? I thought he was, unless he changed his template. During the free for all, he was those void chug. Void. Yeah, like I mean, this is a situation where you need void. You know, you've got to be able to get some void outs on somebody, because this puts at least puts somebody in a super defensive position. You know, if you can land them. You know, as cute as know. like spectral flames are, they're not going to do anything for him here. He needs to, and he ne needs to stop targeting both on the DT too. Peter's generally not yeah, giving enough credit as I think he's really hard to hit. Yeah, he's not an easy guy to hit, but your only chance of winning this fight right now is to one-shot Peter or to war streak Peter. I think I agree. Well, the DT is very geared as well. Yeah, you just you're not gonna you're probably not even gonna two-shot. Welcome to DT. He doesn't have ridiculous damage rating in order to do that kind of thing. And you know, he's got good damage rating, but it's not ridiculous. And unless he gets like a sneak crit or something like that, he's not gonna probably two shot him. So it's really, I mean, I, I think Peter's probably the better PK of the two, but he's gonna have to go over P after Peter. There's just not an option for him. Looks like they might need to double crit to get a kill. 
Maybe. I mean, well, the thing is, is Peter's wars don't really count for a whole lot. He's the one hitting them more. What they need to do, honestly, is they need to get him in a situation where uh, they're getting him in that sweet spot range where your bolts can hit a lot. And But he's just shaking the move around too much right now for that. I don't think he has any shame in chugging when he needs to. No, there's no shame. No, this is this is 2015 Dark Tide. We we chug after every war, right? Gotta wonder if they're using stamina chugs. I if I was in this, I'd be bringing field rations and yeah, maybe even mana without chugs. a doubt. Yeah, you can get some mana mana tinctures and stuff too. You know, those are situationally really good. Of course, now if he's using the uh, the mana. Like what they're called. Like ancient one, two, two zero. Oh. There you go. Or is that the first person that they killed? Well, let me take a look at his mana because he could be having using the uh, the manatees that give you like seven hundred mana, or give you up to seven hundred mana. But he, he's not. He's got mid six hundreds mana and stamina both, so he doesn't have like a ring or anything either. So he doesn't have ridiculous stats. To be honest, carnivals, actual like. Uh, Attribute stats are not that high. Like he's got pretty low health for being that kind of gear character. We are limiting a lot of health items as well. Okay. So for instance, people aren't using eggs or life meads. Oh, okay. Or the um, the buff from yeah, the, the event buff. Jow. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, well that makes more sense then. So he should be, he could get up to like 540 something, but, so it's not that bad. Could have a lot of um, health boost in his suit as well. Yeah. So, I'm getting people saying, saying that he's still, he's still Void War. You, you gotta, you gotta bring the old Void out at this point. There's just not an option, and you're still going after the guy who's gonna be able to tank too. And you're hitting him with level 7 wars too. This is just not a winning formula unless he gets really lucky crits. And it looks like the Tomato Mike team wins. And tomato Mike carry. Tomato Mike and HMFIC. I'm not sure if that's. Like, Mahalo, might really? Be. Might be Mahalo. Huh. That's actually a really tough team, possibly. I'm gonna move them ahead in the bracket. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like somebody already said it. Yeah, you have to use your void if you're going to be void war. You just you just have to. It's dirty, but I mean, that's why you went to spec in the first place. And it's highly highly effective. If he puts you know, if he just void volleys out right now and hits Peter, I mean, he he's in a really good situation to one shot him after that. And that turns the entire fight around. Yeah, he's probably only wasting 16 credits. You're not usually spec void. Because you can't... You can't, uh... Just you can't have a, Yeah, you can't have a decent spec if you do that. And even then, void, in my personal opinion, is really only worth if you have, like, the green ring. Or not, was it? No, the blue ring, I'm sorry. That has the, uh, legendary war and void already on it, so... Oh, welcome to T with the Surge. Destruction. This is this could be it right here. He's not gonna tank too. No. Peter seems to be hitting for right around 200. Yeah, Snake, I don't think people are gonna really gonna switch to growth in this type of situation. But I guess they could, but uh, with a two on one advantage and stuff, they're definitely not probably going to waste time with that. They're probably just going to, you know, be a little more aggressive and stick with that. Their destruction with it, sir, or destruction or whatever else it is. Yeah, he probably is on tilt, but it doesn't change that. Doesn't change that you just you have to. He's he's decided before the fight that he's gonna go in. He's gonna hit with spectral spectral flame, and he's gonna hit with level seven or level eight arcs, and he hasn't changed that up yet. 
as a person who used to use Frost and used to use Spectral Flame after it was a little outdated technically, it's it's still a good thing to throw a regular bolt in there to uh, get their timing off and stuff. I'm not seeing many bolts. Yeah, it's all Spectral Flame. It's just spe he probably moved bolt off of his bar, honestly. It's, it's a just weird Spectral Flame. because they're very different. Yeah, it can throw somebody off big time, you know. But, you know, you've got that point to where you have X amount of keys that you used to hitting, and if you just plug Spectral Flame in there instead of your bolt, then you're not really having to, like, force yourself to, you know, change or anything. I think apparently it's Tush on HMFIC, not Mahalo. Oh, okay. I think it's the fourth or fifth tank, too, I've seen. Oh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me at all. They're gonna. It's Peter. Peter's used to getting tanked. A lot. Shagan's been playing very defensively, but now he's starting to take more risks. I think he's tanked two, three times in the past, like, minute. Yeah, I'm not even gonna, like, harp on his biggest risk, because the biggest risk is uh, already established. He's not using his template, and he's targeting the wrong person. He's he's really he's taking a lot of damage. That's almost fifty percent right there. There's no tank two. Yep. Hundred and thirty health left, so even a streak you would tank two. Yeah. Then maybe. Yeah, and you'd be surprised. Um and the surges it's it really comes down to the surges too. Here comes the chugs. Wow, I will say he's got some quick chugs. He went from like quarter health to full health, to, like two chugs. He might have a lot of health boost, you might be right about that. There's a crit. Oh, and live at 97 health. Welcome to Asheron's Call, guys. It is not possible to die if you don't want to. That was a nice quick cast though. I like that. By Shaken. Shaken, he got out that, that two second cast there. I, the unfortunate thing is I don't think it hit. He's gonna have to, actually you know what, it did hit, but he had to re-roll now. Which puts him at a, I mean, he's as if he's not at a huge disadvantage as it is. He's doing well keeping his vitals up. And, you know, and I will say that's one of those signs of the experience Asheron's Call Mage is that, you know, the people that can keep their vitals up, especially against like melees and stuff, but uh, any any against odd situations where it's really easy to lose control of your vitals. But yeah, for sure, you know, he's got full health for three quarters stam and what, five, six mana. Really, really good on that end for sure, considering what's going on. Now he's he he's exclusively using stamina health seven. Is that right? I mean, is that, that's all I've seen out of him. I haven't I seen him do any. If he gets to that point, he just like switches out and chugs. Forty-one health. Casting a war still. Where's those harms at? Oh yeah, these guys need to be. I mean, unless they really enjoy this fight that much that they want to drag it on for a half hour, they need to be a little bit more ruthless on the uh, on the streaks. Oh, we're switching elements. Switching wands. I wonder if it's a void wand. I can't click it yet. Uh, you know, I can't either because of the way I've got my camera right now. I'm actually going through my character, so every time I click them, I just see myself. So you yeah. got a second. The lightning wand. wand. That's 35 paragon level. Also with PK damage and PK damage with this use. This so, backup wand is already level 35. It's a little ridiculous. Not bad. So either he got a read that one of these guys are indeed frost hogged, which is possible, but lightning's gonna. Are you that, or he was like, you know what, fuck it, lightning. You know, because lightning. A lot of people have been frost hogging after fighting at penguins for so long. That's true. Yeah, I can see that. But lightning is kind of universally uh, 